friends, welcome back to my channel, Fit360 Over 40. If it's your first time here, hi, I'm Ashley, and I hope you're having a productive day. I sure am. Been to the gym, I came home, took trash out, took recycles out, cleaned the kitchen, got some ground turkey ready for um, chili tomorrow, and now I'm gonna cook dinner, and I thought that it would be a fun cook with me video. Um, as I mentioned in my vlog, there's some aspects of my vlog I'm pulling out. I'm going to do a separate video. So this is going to be one of those times I'm going to do this as a separate video. Um, and tonight we're having some delicious salmon. And some egg noodles. And some green beans. So I thought I'd show you uh, how I put together the salmon. How I cook it. And what I'm going to season it with. So that's what we're going to do. So I already have the oven preheating. I like to put it about 410. Um, I feel like my oven runs a little cooler than what the temperature says. So I always go a little bit higher. Um, so all I'm really gonna do at first, I'm just gonna open the salmon and put it on the plate. Actually, I need to grab some spray. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with some nonstick spray. I like to spray it down, it makes it easier to get um, the skin off the pan. Um, everything you see, I got at Aldi. As it is with most of my food purchases. So, um, these just come in like little vacuum sealed type containers. I just kind of cut along, um, I use a serrated knife and cut along the seam to get that open. You know, just in case you're, you're buying the same salmon. I'm just gonna lay it on the pan. These are some nice looking salmon fillets. More like salmon steaks. Yum. I'm gonna turn the light out so you can see it a little bit better. So I just have it positioned on the pan like this. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of paper towel and I'm just gonna pat the top off. I don't want it to be too wet. Um, I want it to be able to, um, I want the seasoning to adhere to it and not slide off. So I'm going to do that. My trash is right over here. Let me wash my hands. Be right back again. Okay, so hands are clean. Now I can go into my seasoning cabinet and decide what I want to season it with. I always season with salt and pepper. That's just what makes the food taste good. Um, let's see what I'm feeling. This is typically how I do salmon in general, as I look in my spice cabinet and I go, what am I feeling today? What feels like it would taste really good on my, on my salmon? Um, I think I'm gonna use some garlic powder And I have a pretty large surplus of Italian seasoning. I've got like two containers of it. So I'm gonna go with that. Then I just coat the fish. If you wanted to, you, I mean, you can put like olive oil on the fish. I find that with salmon especially, it has so much just natural um, fatty acids in it. You don't really need to add any additional fat to salmon. And you just want to be thoughtful as you're seasoning it. You want to have enough seasoning because salmon is a sturdy fish and it can hold up to seasonings, but you don't want to have too much to where it overpowers the fish. Let me bring you in a little closer and show you the, the tea. So this is what it looks like all seasoned up. 
Oh. So this is another angle of it all seasoned up. You can really see the Italian seasoning in there. Mm, I can't wait for that to be done. So now it just sits and waits till the oven is preheated. Um, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. I have found that this size of salmon, so about, not good with this, but it's about an inch and a half thick, maybe. Um, I have found that that takes about 21 minutes. But what I typically do is I set the timer for around 18 minutes and then I check the temperature with a meat thermometer um, so that I know how close it really is. Sometimes it cooks faster, sometimes it doesn't. These are pretty even, um, even width throughout. So, They'll probably cook fairly evenly because they're pretty even across. I look for that when I pick out my salmon um, because if you have any of like the tail pieces where it's really thin, that can get really overcooked before your thicker middle is done. So I try to make sure and I get it fairly uniform across the size of each one and the size of the individual one to make sure. Um, I also like to get my water boiling for my pasta while the oven is while the salmon's in the oven that way about 10 minutes into the salmon being done my water should be boiling and i can drop the pasta the good news is these are microwave steamed green beans the work's all done for me pop it in the microwave when there's about five minutes left pop it in the microwave so Right now, we're just going to wait for the oven to preheat, then I'll get it in the oven. So I'll check back in once I kind of have everything working. Okay, so the oven's preheated. I'm going to pop the salmon in and I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. That way I can come in, uh, make sure the pasta water is boiling, and then drop the pasta. So our next step will be dropping the pasta just popped in to check on my water I gotta turn it up a little bit because it's not um, there's about two minutes left before I want to drop the pasta and it's not to the boiling point I want it to be so I turn the heat up but man it smells so good in here wish you guys could smell the salmon it smells amazing all right guys our water's boiling it's time to put some pasta in there um, so typically this pasta I think takes um, let me see what they say. It says six to eight minutes. I usually, we like our pasta to be a little bit more done, typically than the package directions. Um, we're more of a beyond al dente family here. So I'll probably cook it for nine minutes. But what I'm gonna do, set the timer for eight minutes because that's when I want to check the salmon. So I set the timer for eight minutes, come back and check the pasta, check the salmon, make the decision on what happens next at that point. So I decided to check on the salmon before I start the green beans. My handy dandy of glove. This was my grandfather's. Oh guys, it looks good. You want the internal temperature to get to about 135, um, and then there will be some carryover cooking after that. So, I'm gonna stick it in the biggest part. I usually check it in a few places. Okay, so we're not there yet. Definitely needs um, more time. I'm trying to decide if six minutes is gonna be enough time. I think it will be. I stir this every once in a while. Oh, I got these, these spoons are Rachel Ray spoons and I love it because they have the little, like, I don't know if you can see the little like hooky thing and you can just loop it on the side like that. I think it's cool. So, um, I think I'm gonna start the green beans. 
So next time you see me, I'm gonna be pulling out, probably pulling out the salmon and getting the noodles ready. Well guys, my timing is a little bit off. The noodles are done, so we're going to drain them and I'm gonna show you how I get those ready. So what you can't see over there is my colander with my stuff in it. So back in a second. Tonight I'm just making some simple, simple salt and pepper butter noodles. So I'm gonna add some butter. I like to add the butter to the actual pan and let it melt. I almost try to create a little sauce and then put the noodles back in the pan. So that's what we're doing today. Listen to that sizzle. So also I turn the heat on the pan down to low cause I'm not trying to really cook the butter. I'm just trying to melt everything so that when I put the pasta back in, it has a nice coating that goes on the, the noodles. So I'm not trying to like, you know, create like any clarified butter or anything like that. It's not anything fancy or special like that. Just trying to melt down that butter. Um, I'm at a point where I am gonna add the noodles back. I have this nice plastic. I like the shape of this one for this because I don't really lose any of the noodles. So we're stirring that in. It also helps the, the butter to really kind of absorb into the noodles. I like to add a little bit of pepper, not too much. You don't want to overpower uh, the flavor of the noodles and the butter. But a decent amount of salt, carbs need salt. I can usually tell by the smell if it's the right amount of like pepper and um, butter for me. So I'll show you what you want to see is it's kind of, it's hard to see on camera, but it's kind of glistening. I'll do the best I can um, to show you, but it kind of has this sheen to it. And that's what you want to see. Um, you want to see that it came together in a nice um, sauce. Now what I'm going to do is just going to set that off to the side. I'm actually going to put it on a different burner, but still put the heat kind of on low so that it doesn't, um, I don't lose a lot of heat. And then I'm just going to throw I'm going to place a lid on it so that it holds in some of the heat as we move forward. So I pulled the salmon and we are where we want to be. And that beeping is the green beans. So now is kind of crunch time. What I'm first going to do is I want to show you guys how I remove the salmon from the plate or from the, the pan. So me and my husband don't really like to eat the skin. So what we do is I slide underneath in between the skin and the meat. Usually I should have my oven glove for this because you can hold the pan. If I slide there and I just carefully, carefully kind of slide around. Loosen all the sides. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's do that one more time because I got two pieces. Carefully, you slide around it. Loosen all the little corners, all the sides. Use 
use, I sometimes use the back of the pan or the edges of the pan. Oh, look at that. Perfection, guys. Oh, there's a little piece that I need to, mmm. Again, God, I wish you could taste it. So that's our salmon. Done. I usually leave the spatula over here because as part of cleanup, I'm going to have to dump that into the trash can. Oops. Next up is the plate up the noodles. We're just going to split that between the dishes. Put that in the sink. And all I'm going to do is put the, I'm going to open up the um, green beans, strain them a little bit, and put them in a bowl. So that's dinner tonight. Baked salmon with butter noodles and green beans. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I plan to do these videos maybe once or twice a month, depending on um, what I'm cooking and if it's different than what I cooked before. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please um, give me give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also hit the notification bell and then you'll be up, uh, updated anytime I upload a new video. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.